Let's move on to a movie now that's one of the most brilliant, weird, and unusual American documentary films I've seen in a long time. Roger Ebert was the definitive mainstream film critic in American cinema. He has been writing for half of the history of feature films. Roger was a mature writer early on. He's written over a dozen books. He wrote a novel. He won a Pulitzer Prize. How on earth did Roger Ebert write Beyond the Valley of the Dolls? Boobs. Beyond the Valley. You know, this is a title. Roger was good addition, but he also could take it. He is a nice guy, but he's not that nice. It's Thriller Week on Cisco and Ebert in the movies, and we've got three new ones. Sound a little excited, Gene. Sound less excited, Roger. Roger Ebert and Gene Siskel were the most powerful critics of all time. The perfect matching of opposites. Even though Roger wrote Beyond the Valley of the Dolls, Gene lived the life. These were towering figures clashing. It was, I'm going to crush you. You give Benji the Hunter a positive review. That's totally unfair because you realize they almost didn't care what anyone else thought as long as they could try to persuade the other. This morning I confess that I am a sick person. Three years ago, I felt a lump under my chin, and it turned out to be cancer. Roger had an inner core made of steel. You want to rest a little bit or work a little bit? Ask Steve. He's the director. He is a soldier of cinema who cannot even speak anymore, and he plows on. And that touches my heart very deeply. As a film critic, he was somebody who gave life to new voices, gave life to new visions that reflected all the diversity of this nation. He made it possible for a bigger audience, a wider audience, to appreciate cinema as an art form, because he really loved films. For me, the movies are like a machine that generates empathy. It lets you understand hopes, aspirations, dreams, and fears. It helps us to identify with the people who are sharing this journey with us.